Biosponge. Biopreparation for removing drugs and phenol in sewage treatment plants. Biosponge is a biopreparation that removes drug residues, such as paracetamol or ibuprofen, in sewage treatment plants. The carrier of the bacteria responsible for this is a natural plant sponge, which biodegrades over time. The authors of the solution are researchers from the Polish University of Silesia. The research team developing this solution from the Faculty of Natural Sciences of the University of Silesia consists of Dr. Anna Zionek, Dr. Agnieszka Nowak, Dr. Hab. Danuta Wojczesinska, Professor, University of Silesia, and Dr. Hab. Urzula Guzik, Professor, University of Silesia. The solution, submitted for patent protection, was developed as part of a project financed by the National Center for Research and Development. BioSponge is a biological vaccine capable of degrading paracetamol and selected non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as naproxen or ibuprofen, and phenol. Its main task is to support urban and household biological treatment plants in this regard. Our preparation is able to remove pollutants before they reach the environment and start to have a negative impact on living organisms, including humans, said Dr. Anna Zionek, one of the authors of the solution. The preparation is based on a natural plant sponge of the LUFA type, LUFA, which is obtained from the flesh of the fruit called sponge is widely available in stores and used e.g. for washing and body massage. On this sponge, with dimensions of about 2 by 1 by 1 cm, strains of bacteria have been immobilized, immobilized, which break down paracetamol and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs into carbon dioxide and water. The mixture of bacteria developed by us has been specially selected for its ability to fully decompose pharmaceuticals. Bacteria use these toxic compounds as a source of energy, i.e. food, and thus eliminate them from the environment, explained Anna Zionek. Bacteria work for about four weeks, then their efficiency decreases. In turn, the sponge has a lifespan of about three months. After this time it is biodegradable. Its natural decomposition is a big advantage of our solution, because you do not have to remove its remains later. Anyway, bacteria are also, bio. They are not produced in the laboratory by genetic modification, but have been isolated from the environment. By introducing them into the environment, we do not disturb the ecological balance, because these bacteria come from there, stressed Anna Zionek. As the researchers pointed out, the production cost of such a bio sponge is not high. The sponge is an easily available plant material. And the immobilization process itself, putting bacteria into the carrier, is also not technologically demanding. BioSponge is definitely a cheaper solution than, for example, physiochemical methods, which are commonly used today and considered the best in terms of removing pharmaceuticals in wastewater treatment plants. However, they are less safe for the environment because they are characterized by low specificity and can cause uncontrolled reactions in the environment, said Dr. Hab. Urzula Guzik. Professor, University of Silesia BioSponge is intended to support activated sludge in biological treatment plants. In biological wastewater treatment plants, yes, there is a very complex microbiome. But unfortunately it is still not adapted to effectively remove pharmaceuticals. Our preparation can help solve this problem at least in terms of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Urzula Guzik assessed. Previous studies have been conducted in laboratory conditions. 
Now the researchers are in talks with interested wastewater treatment plants to test the solution in real conditions. In the opinion of Ursula Guzik, the solution has implementation potential also due to the EU regulations of the so-called Wastewater Directive. New regulations require wastewater treatment plants to monitor and dispose of various pharmaceuticals. Among them is diclofenac, on which our bio-preparation works. Treatment plants must start to be interested in this topic, because they will soon be obliged to do so by law, she said. The solution was developed as part of the project entitled, Preparation Stimulating the Degradation of Non-Steroidal Anti-Inflammatory Drugs Based on Bacterial Strains Immobilized on a Natural Carrier financed by the National Center for Research and Development. Tomatoes send out warning signals when attacked by insects. Insect-eaten tomatoes use electrical signals to send a warning to the rest of the plant. This information seems to help plants defend themselves. In response to the signals, the plant releases hydrogen peroxide, which fights bacterial infections of damaged tissues. Plants have many chemical and hormonal signaling pathways that are generally transmitted through the sap. In the case of fruit, nutrients only flow to the fruit and there is little research on whether there is any communication in the opposite direction, i.e. from fruit to plants. Juice is a nutrient-rich water that moves through the plant and nourishes it. Recent research has shown that tomato fruits send electrical signals through their juices to the rest of the plant. Thus warning of an attack by caterpillars. The discovery was published in the journal Frontiers in Sustainable Food Systems. We usually don't think about the fact that fruits are living and semi-autonomous parts of plants and much more complex than we think. So, since fruits are part of plants and are made of the same tissues as leaves and stems, why shouldn't they communicate by informing the mother about what they are experiencing? Says the lead author of the study, Dr. Gabriela Niemeyer Riesig from the University of Pelotas in Brazil. We found that fruits can share important information, such as caterpillar attacks with the rest of the plant. This can probably help prepare for a similar attack, emphasizes the researcher. To test the hypothesis that fruits communicate by electrical signals, drive. Niemeyer Riesig and her colleagues placed tomatoes with electrodes attached to the ends of branches in a Faraday cage. They then measured the electrical responses of the plants before, during and after the fruit was attacked by the caterpillars. It turned out that the electrical signals generated by the fruits before and after the attack were completely different. What's more, the researchers found that defensive biochemical reactions were triggered in other parts of the plant, even those far from the damage caused by the caterpillars. The authors emphasize that further research on the issue is needed. The measurements carried out give a rather general picture of electrical signals and do not allow to distinguish individual messages sent by plants. In the future, the researchers intend to check whether the phenomenon of electrical messages applies to other plant species and different types of threats. Machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms were used in the research. Scientists argue that this novel application has great potential for similar research. The new findings could also provide a new, and perhaps more environmentally friendly, approach to insect control in agriculture. If similar research continues and techniques for measuring electrical signals sent by plants continue to be refined, early detection of insects attacking crops will be possible. This will allow less aggressive chemicals to be used to prevent crop damage, explains Niemeyer Riesig.